All right, I've got another special request. Robin from Teen Titans. I loved, love, love this show. One of my favorites, like, especially the final conclusion. Oh my gosh, that episode was ridiculous, man. So, uh, we'll get started with it here. I'm using a four, actually I'm going to use a B. I've been loving this B pencil. I've been doing this a little different. Uh, and that's what I recommend. You always, you always want to do things different from time to time. Switch up your pencils, your median. It's always a good feeling. And I've got a paper here just so I don't smear it and cover this other drawing. Let's get started with this. Uh, I'm going to do half the body just because it takes a lot of time, you know, to do a full thing. So I'm trying to think here, the pose. Let's start with his head. I'm gonna kinda do it in my own style. I'm just trying to think. Use a reference, you know, so I know the costume. I think I got an idea. So just start with kind of this basic circle shape. For the head. Basically the face. The face kind of where the head meets. You have all the hair. Half of it dips down. It's a typical kind of anime face. It kind of comes off the head shape, the circle shape dips down and then ends at a point then same on this side comes in and it connects back with that circle and once again this is kind of going to be my own style, my own interpretation I mean I'm sticking with the the costume and the basic but it's not it's going to look like Robin from Teen Times and I'm also I want it to look a little sketchy, a little rough, you know just like his character is because his character is so cool he's this leader and for the ear, a little circle shape ear. And on this side, another a little circle shape. And they're not too big. I'm going to make that a little smaller. I love this pencil. Like it's, it's great. Then, you know, kind of make a line in the middle. He's looking just barely, barely, barely sideways, so I'll make it a little curved. Then for the mask, you can make a line it's like the mask sits right in the middle and kind of make a line there real sketchy and then I'm going to get the, the hair in because the hair is more complicated so I usually like to at least get a rough guideline of complicated things first so the hair you got one two little bang shapes so this comes up bang shape here another hair another hair hair you get it it's my little joke for the day. And then another one here. And then it just curves towards the end. And as you can see, it just comes in, makes this nice line, and that's how it attaches to the head. Kind of comes in here, and then you have this little shape, the sideburn shape. Thought you got that. And don't worry if it looks sketchy right now. I'll go back with the mechanical and find lines. But then you have another. Right, right, the hair spikes up. And for the rest, see how it comes off this, the head we start with? You know, that's how a lot of professional artists do. They start with, the, always start with the circle for a head because the skull is essentially a, a circle shape. Let me check this is on the camera. Mama Mia, it's a little off, or just, just a tad. There we go. Mama Mia, it's a butterfly. I'm gonna make this one not come out as far, but uh, so this one's a little higher. Once again, kind of just going with how I feel. Uh, you know, I'm, like I said in my video I just did the, before this one, kind of want to use things as a reference, but also you want to do your own style, your own sketch, so it's still fun. You're still exploring. I mean, that's why I love to draw, cause you know you're always open to your own interpretation your own sketch lines the value of your lines and something always to remember and I kinda never really mention this 
Uh, don't get discouraged if it doesn't look like, you know, like you see on the TV, Teen Titans, or, or like the finished drawing. Uh, remember, because you're doing this, you're making a sketch. Like right now, I am doing a sketch, and that's the art form. That's the beauty of this, you know. If you want to see, if you want to do the finished work, you need digital equipment. You, you know, you need the finished work is completely different than a sketch. But this is how it's always going to look. Uh, my point is, don't underestimate how your sketch looks. A lot of times, I'll get discouraged right off the bat if my sketch isn't looking like the finished quality work. And it's just a mental kind of thing. I hope, I hope that makes sense. I hope it helps. So the neck, kind of the shape. Then for the body, it's pretty wide, not too wide. You know, he's got that big head because it shows more kind of like anime anime-ish. Uh, and then it just, this shape drips down. Drips down, wow, that's that's an interesting way to describe it. But just curves down here. Then uh, one layer where the cape hooks up. So the cape, you have a line here that for the cape. So I'm just getting that, that shape pretty much done. And he's got this, get the body in, pretty slender, big, big, not too big of a chest, but it's enough to be pronounced. And then as the body goes in, it gets first skinnier towards the waist. I'm gonna slender it down a little. So you know it is like make this a little smaller. Cause you gotta remember, uh it's more like I said, it's more anime style. It's not like DC comics where he's extremely uh you know where he's extremely realistic, broad chest and all that. So I'll make this a little smaller shape, sorry about that. And then the cape, there'll be a layer over here that I'll just connect to. Then ultimately from there, the R is going to be on this side. It's on the, his left. His left or his left? And so just make a line for now that comes down. Real skinny, we'll finish up from there. Don't want to make it too complicated, but you can see about how long it is. Uh, Almost as long as the hair and head. Then it'll wrap around. So he's got the sleeve that comes out. This is kind of uh, not really random, but you know, I wasn't expecting to do this request so soon. So I hope, you know, all the people that requested, I hope you're enjoying it. You know, you just got these sleeves, and his body is from the front, so you can make a line right here just to show the middle of the body. But you can see I'm using simple shapes right now, bringing it down. Yeah, I didn't expect to draw Robin next. I just got in the mood to draw. I was like, let's let's see who can I, what request can I do next. Then for the arms, they kind of come in, and the biceps, pretty skinny arms. He's got those skinny arms, the muscle. So you want to make that, and then the forearm, just make a shape where it kind of connects like that, and you can see, that's why I love sketching, because you can create a form, like see how I did that little circular, half circle shape, look at how that form just connects with this, you know, that's something you wouldn't see in a finished drawing, or the finished quality work, but when you look at a sketch, it just to me, just little things like that make the character looks so much better and it also helps your understanding of uh, anatomy and it helps your understanding of uh, just how muscles connect their forms but notice how like a, once again the biceps are pretty skinny then the forearms get bigger and we're not going to draw the gloves in right away but just enough just the form basic form 
And I'm not going to draw the hands, uh, mainly to save time, because, you know, this is already taking a lot. Uh, but just as long as I get the costume major things. So let's get started with the symbol. Draw a little circle. Pretty circle there. And then the R shape, it's kind of, it's kind of like a typical, it's got this style to it where it juts up. Curves in and it's big leg here on the R, and it comes back down. Kind of like that, it looks like. Nothing too fancy, and then make sure that's a straight line, and that's another. Let's let's finish up, like I said, because uh, no. And one here, line here, another line there. And three, and then just go down the shirt. And you can see how, oh my gosh, this looks so awesome! And you can see how it's just coming along. I get so excited when it, you know, that's the best feeling is when you start to see the character formed by these rough sketches. Uh, like I said before, when it comes to drawing, it takes a long time to do something. I mean, it's kind of like, you have to know, okay, I'm settled on this character, I'm going to devote an, a lot of time into doing it. Because it really is, it's a, a game a game of time, and you don't want to rush things. So now we got the basic body for the belt. Draw a little circle shape. And ultimately that circle attaches to this, and you got another line. And the belt kind of big towards the sides. And they get wider as they connect. Then the just the pants. You just make a couple lines, show the fabric. Then right here is where the legs connect. Like I said, I'm not gonna worry about that. But let's get the face the mask in. So when it comes to the face the mask, uh has like two little shapes. Ultimately Make a nose that curves, curves out and kind of ends not at a point, but it's a little, it's a point, but it's not a sharp point, it's just a little dull thing. Then a nostril here, and uh, you want to make a real skinny line. You can see how skinny it gets towards the bridge, the mask. Very important you get the mask down. I'm just going to get the basic shape then come in with the mechanical. But you can see it dips down. And the angle of this comes out. Ends at a point. Notice how it ends at a point though. How it dips down. See how this kind of arches down and goes up and a little mark here eyebrow shape that's basically the mask let's get then a real determined look just a real simple mouth shape so let's finish this up uh, this is where I made these lines you know you want to really clean them up I'm using mechanical now So the mask, it's very skinny. So it just comes in like that. Very important you get the, the length right. Because notice how the inside, how much line you have. There's not too much. In other words, see this distance from here to there, it's not too wide. You want to keep that in mind when you do the mask. And uh, I am sweating for some reason. And then ear comes out. Just a real basic ear shape. I'll go back and do all the values last. Just make sure the hair. And his hair kind of has a highlight all across. So come in and erase your guidelines. 
Now that we don't need them. Gone to the mass, the nose. I'm just coming in, making these nice dark lines. And we're going to worry about highlights and shadows last because there's no point in doing them if the overall form's not all done. With this one so here. You got that. Then sketch the neck. I'm just going over the lines we did, clean up. This game this time. Then the arms once again. I'm gonna make the rest look a little more sketch here. But see how thick these lines are for the body? I'm making them extra thick just to exaggerate, you know, the, the physical. They just to exaggerate the the mass of the body more. And these lines here. So, straight line up for the R, little line there, this is probably the best way to learn to draw, the best way to draw is you want to get a sketching first. And then finish up on the character. And a circle here. Notice how this circle is open on the sides. Then you have a circle within that circle. Kind of, kind of wide. And I just want to get that thickness. And see where the belt connects. Make sure you get that little thing. So I actually have the basic thing. Just finish the arm. Come in and, like I said, not to. And the gloves. See how they cut off? Real long here. Then they'll go into the hand. And like I said, I'm not going to draw the hand. Uh, as long as you get the costume, you can kind of look at a hand reference and try to get that. But you can see it just curves up. These real nice shapes, and this one you'll see the inside a little. Ultimately, that's how you draw Robin. I'll finish up here with the shading, where you got to put the blacks and different things. Ah. See how it just ends. Then the hand shape would be in here. I'm just, just make a simple little shape. Real quick, uh, for the highlight of the hair, it's kind of got this whole place kind of started right in this area. And just kind of, it's hard to explain, but it kind of, really hard to explain actually. See how it just curves up, curves down, curves up. Just have fun with it, but you want to keep it on a line, a consistent line. So you can see how it just see how the lines coming all the way down. So you can sketch the line first if you want, but it's kind of a bunch of curves that just follow this thing. So kind of like that. And then for this, you know, you have a highlight. And all I'm gonna do uh, is go back. You have a kind of highlight on the mask. Put one there, one around the nose area, and one here. And all I'm gonna do now, and you'll see the. That way I won't take more time in the video. I'm just going to darken in these areas. And Thanks everyone though for watching. So I'm just going to finish up by darkening the areas 
And you, you can, now that you got the form, just color it as you go on your own. Uh, but see this little line just comes in and just another reflection. Uh, so just finish up. I'm going to erase the guidelines and finish up. But that's basically how you draw Robin. And this is so fun, everyone. Thanks a ton, everyone, for checking out. Check out my other videos, how to draw Beast Boy and Starfire. And hopefully I'll get Draven drawn next. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.